All right, we are going to make a ray box today that we can use in our light experiments that we're doing in this unit. What a ray box does is it allows us to get one solid beam of light. Actually, today we're gonna to make one that makes three beams of light uh, from a flashlight or a cell phone with a light or whatever. So we'll be able to put the light into the end of our toilet paper tube, and then there's a little slit at the end. And as a result, it's going to give us this nice beam of light. Let me see if I can show you and if it works out. So there you can see that beam of light. I don't know if you can see that, but with the lights off, it works out quite well. And that will allow us to actually take a look and uh, analyze reflection and refraction and different properties of light. So that's what we're building today. So to start off, we need a toilet paper tube. We need uh, some paper. I'm gonna use post-it notes. They're just about the perfect size and they're really easy to work with because they stick together. Um, if you don't have post-it notes, then paper is great. The thicker the paper, the better. And in fact, if you have like black construction paper or something, that would work out really well if you have it. Now, these post-it notes are about three inches by three inches. So if you do have paper instead of post-it notes, you'll want to cut a square piece of paper that's three inches by three inches. If you're using normal white paper, you'll want a few layers. So maybe go ahead and actually fold it first to get two layers and then cut a three by three piece with the fold on one of the edges and that way it will all stay together for you. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use three post-it notes here to get a nice thick layer. And that's what I'm going to work with. So what I'm going to do to start off, I'm actually gonna do this at the end that's all stuck together. I think that will work better if we use the sticky end that we cut into. I'm going to first of all find the center of my post-it note and I'm going to mark that with a pencil. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I've marked it with a pencil. And now I'm going to draw a line that's perfectly parallel to the edge and goes close to the very end but not quite to the very end of that. I'm now going to do two more lines that are half a centimeter away from that first center line on both sides. So half a centimeter and half a centimeter. And I'm now going to draw a line for that, making sure it's perfectly parallel to that first line that I drew. And again, not quite up to the top. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. Hopefully you can see that. I have three lines, okay, that are going almost up to the very, very top of that post-it note. Now the next step of what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut the pencil part of these lines out. So it's gonna be two cuts that are very close together in order to give me just a slit that's basically the width of that line. So I'm going to take my scissors I'm gonna to cut to the right of one line. I don't know if you can see that, but I've cut just kind of to the side of that line. So you can see that the line is on this side and here I don't have any pencil on that end. And now I'm going to cut on the other side of that pencil mark as well. So this will leave me with a slit that's a pencil line width wide. So you can see that I've got these kind of almost little hair pieces of uh, paper coming off of that. I'm just going to now snip that and I've got my first slit. We're gonna do that for the other two as well to get three nice parallel cuts, slits in my paper. So here's the second piece. I'm stopping about a centimeter from the, the top. Okay, so there you can see I've got my second slit and now I'm going to do my third slit.
Okay, so there we go. We now have three slits, okay, that are all parallel, about approximately the same width of the actual slit, okay, across. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of tape and I'm going to put it on that other end, the end that right now um, does not have, you know, it's not connected. And I'm going to do it in such a way that I'm going to make all those slits kind of the same size. So I put the tape on and what that is doing is it's keeping the slits in place so they're all the same size, right, all the way across. And I'm just going to fold it over the tape so it's keeping it nice and neat and tidy. Okay. So now I am all set in that I have my three slits, and these are the slits that light is going to travel through. I'm now going to take my toilet paper tube, and I'm going to place that just right in the middle. So basically um, on the bottom here, uh, how do I best show this? Okay, so in terms of where it is, it's right in the middle of the paper, so the slits go past it on both sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up an edge, so it's probably best to actually kind of mark it and then fold like that. Go here. Oh, I realize that this toilet paper tube has a hole in it. That's okay. I'm just going to actually fix that up with a piece of tape. Oh, this toilet paper roll has seen some tough times, probably in more ways than one. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to make my next fold. Okay, so I'm going to kind of figure out where that's going to fold, and then I'll do that, folding it across. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that in the center of it, and I'm going to tape it on both folds to the toilet paper roll. So I'm taping it here, right there, sorry, put tape right there to there, and then I'm going to do the other side as well. This is tricky for me. Okay, so now at this point we have our toilet paper roll and we have that taped on this side right here and also on this side right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some slits on the fold. So I'm cutting right here just until it reaches around where the toilet paper roll comes to. And that's going to allow me now to fold this portion up and again tape it. The idea here is we want to make sure that light cannot leak out the sides. So we're making like a, a barrier on the sides as well so light can't get through. We now have got these two tabs, we're just going to fold them in. And then we're going to tape them. I could get fancier and I could have folded those in before I did the other and that probably would have made a neater side. Why don't we try that for the second side? So I'm going to make my two cuts. Okay, so, so you can see it. One cut right here along the fold. Another cut right here along the fold. Let's fold in the tabs first on the side. We're learning as we go. And then we'll bring this up like that. And we will tape that side. This is actually more difficult. I'm regretting my decision. I probably should have just done it the previous way because I think that is easier to use more tape. And it doesn't cause as much pressure. Okay. Now at this point what I've got is I've got my three slits on there, right, showing up on my toilet paper roll. And that's it. I'm actually now done my ray box. So if I hold this down and then I go ahead and get my flashlight going, what this should give us is a nice three lines coming out of our ray box. And there it is. We have a nice three lines 
that's coming out of our ray box that we can actually see. And my voicemail is playing, which is kind of funny. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, so now we've got that. Let me turn off the lights and see how that actually shows up. See if we get a better image. One second here. Yeah, a little bit better. But you can see now that I've got these three rays coming straight out of my ray box. Now most of the time we're just going to be looking at that center one, but it's nice for us to actually have those three slits which will help us do a little bit more analysis. Um, I think that it might be a good idea for us to also put some tape right on the slits themselves right here, which will help keep them all on the same plane. And again, just keep them nice and tidy. So I'm going to put some tape right over top. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so that's us making our own ray box that now allows us to actually see some ray of light coming straight out of our uh, toilet paper tube ray box. So awesome. We just replaced a device worth hundreds of dollars with toilet paper rolls and post-it notes. So success. And what we need to do with this at-home learning model. There we go. There's our ray box. All right. Hopefully that worked out for you. I'd love to see them and, uh, and see if they worked out the way that I hoped.